for the pension. The young mayor of Derby. Well yeah, done. Thank, thank you very much for coming. And um, I'm so glad that you can lend your support to this campaign. Um, as you know, teen suicide is the highest in the UK, and people, um, this, that's so good. The UK is, has the highest number of teens, the highest number is killed by suicide each year, and that's growing. The number of people we've called Childline and various suicide support lines has increased dramatically over the last year. So I'm very thankful for the youth mayor to be joining me to represent the youth of Derby and the field, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. As you, yeah, I mean, as you were saying, it's an extremely important issue for young people within our city. Uh, it's an issue that we've seen increasingly becoming more potent to many young people. And it's an issue which sadly, I think, almost all of us have experienced people who've been very close to suicide or even sometimes been there ourselves. And so it of course is a very important issue that we talk about different ways that we can help others prevent this from happening. And so it's, I'm very honored to be here today uh, in order that we can get this conversation going of how do we help others in our city, especially young people, to prevent them from going into this area. Because one of the things, and especially because more males commit suicide, mm -hmm. it's, it's two thirds to one yeah. ratio of males committing suicide, is because they don't talk about it. Yeah. So part of my my training and my work yeah. here with Grim Reaper A to Keeper is to bring awareness and also to reduce the stigma that it is okay to talk about it, yeah. and we do need to talk about it. Yeah. And um, so. It, that's really serious because that is one of the big problems is that uh, I don't know who to talk to, I don't know what to say, and we we'll actually listen or I feel by, all by myself, I'm, I'm isolated, nobody else understands me. So, yes, it is good to get them talking and uh, let's hope it continues getting the young people to talk. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think you were really touching on one of the keys of really what needs to happen here is many young people, especially males, we, We'll never talk about this. We, you know, we like to show ourselves as natural. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and for many, some of the friends I've had who've been close to this, it's, I find that it's really important that once people, we can get them talking about the things that they're struggling with, the issues that they're really working with, and get that conversation out uh, in the open that they can be sharing with some friends. That's really positioned them. Then they can really be helped to come to a position where they can be better off. And, helps everyone eventually. I'm, I'm planning to be taking this into the schools, colleges and universities, as well as to business, because the second highest rate of suicide is middle-aged men, and a lot of them is um, because you know, the midlife crisis, or they've been downsized, or they've lost a job, or there's pressure to provide for their family, um, and there's a whole host of other reasons. So I'm, I'm aiming to take it to both the younger generation and yeah. the older generation. And I found that the correlation between the two is the identity. Because the teenagers are just beginning to find their identity, and then the middle-aged men are having a middle-life crisis and having an identity crisis, who am I anymore? Who yeah. am I just a, a worker who just goes to the office nine to five? And they're having an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to do with identity. Yeah. Um, involving both, both groups actually. And uh, yeah. so, yes, that's um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Inside, yeah. Yeah. The events, what we're doing today. Yeah, so today's new event is, um, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be sharing a little bit about my story. I've been attempting suicide when I was 16. And um, I'll tell you what about that. And I'm also going to give some statistics about suicide, and you'll be about the awareness of suicide. And um, in WHO, World Health Organization, estimating that there's 800 suicides reported each year across the world. But that doesn't include those that think about it, mm -hmm. that have attempted suicide and not, have, have not succeeded. And 
those that don't mention it, don't talk about it. Um, and yeah, for myself, I didn't talk about it for quite a few years. My family didn't even know I was like, trying to commit suicide. And um, so I'll be talking about that. I'll be talking about um, some of the signs to recognise of a suicidal person. Um, and then we're going to be looking at zombies, robots, shipwrecked, and champions. They are, they are all different kinds of people. Mm. I'll go into more detail with that. Um, but you've got people who are just surviving, just existing. Um, people who are ship shipwrecked in their life, everything's just broken and a mess, they're at sea, treading water. And then you've got people who become champions by overcoming mm. and, and living. Um, so we'll be talking more depth about that. Mm. And then later this afternoon we'll be doing some suicide intervention techniques. Um, a bit of role play with that. And um, some coaching as well, because this is a fusion of life coaching and assist training which is advanced suicide intervention skills training so it's a fusion of those together and we'll be doing um, role play and we'll do some coaching things so that we can find out what to do one of the key points of this afternoon is and this is a really key point for everybody to listen because everybody thinks, oh it's too much I, can't, I don't know what to say if somebody's suicidal what do I say how do I, how do I go about it is you know it's just be thinking this one thing Keep them safe for now. Um, they don't have to plan the whole next 10, 20 years. Just keep them safe for now, for today. Then you can work on the plan for after that. So um, one thing I want you to take away from this is it's, it's easier than you think. Talk to them. Don't be afraid to mention suicide because that myth is wrong. You know? If I mention suicide, they're going to kill themselves, you know, or people will jump, or they'll do more, they'll kill themselves. It's wrong. People do want to talk, and um, so do talk openly, um, but remember, think about how you can keep them safe now, just at that moment, to keep them safe, and that's a key issue, yeah. a key point. I'm really looking forward to hearing all the different sessions that you have, because as we talked from earlier, it's so important that we get that conversation going. And if today leads to more champions, uh, more people like yourself who were close but have been able to come through and live full lives uh, because of the prevention techniques that you've been teaching today, that's going to be such a success uh, for the young people and indeed the other people within our city. So I'm really looking forward to all those different sessions uh, where you'll be explaining all the different preventative methods and all the different reasons that people come. Suicide that. Thank you very much. Thank you. And just um, for those that are watching live, this is Ashbourne Road Methodist Church, Ashbourne Road, which is actually the A52, um, Derby, and you know basically you can just come come along t today, um, just turn up, and we'll be here somewhere about three o'clock. So.